Hiya loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is going to be a really special video. I am going to be reviewing Waitress the Musical. Now I recently saw it at the Opera House in Manchester. Uh, it was sort of mid-November and it was the beginning of their tour around the UK and Ireland. So I was really excited to see the show again because I have actually seen the show already twice in London. I saw Catherine McPhee and Sarah Barry Ellis, who wrote the music and lyrics for the show, in the leading role of Jenna. And this time around, it was Lucy Jones playing Jenna, and I was really, really excited to see her do her thing because I know so much about Lucy Jones as a performer, but I've never actually seen her in a show. So this was a really special experience for me. So first of all, let me tell you the synopsis of the show and what it's about. Meet Jenna a waitress and expert pie maker who dreams of some happiness in her life. When a hot new doctor arrives in town, life gets complicated. With the support of her workmates, Becky and Dawn, Jenna overcomes the challenges she faces and finds that laughter, love and friendship can provide the perfect recipe for happiness. Awesome. Can I first mention that the Doctor, which is Dr. Palmer, uh, was played by Matt Willis. Uh, Matt Willis is probably best known for being in the band Busted many years ago and I didn't know what to expect because I'd never seen him do um, any other acting or uh, performing for a musical like this um, but I knew that he had done some and I just thought his acting was so nuanced, so realistic. I completely believed everything that he said and did on stage. His voice was brilliant. He's got the right kind of tone, the balance between like pop and musical theatre for this musical. So I was really impressed by him. And he had a wonderful chemistry with Lucy Jones, who played Jenna. Lucy Jones, I mean, her vocals are always incredible. She's definitely somebody that I look up to uh, within the musical theatre industry, but I just think this role suited her voice incredibly well and hearing those incredibly beautiful vocals just bounce around the auditorium was quite something to behold. She's actually had the news recently that she's going to be playing Elphaba as of next February in London in Wicked so she will be leaving Waitress uh, as a result and there was a, a article in the stage and one of the sort of lines from the article said the only musical that I would leave Waitress for would be Wicked. I think she's just gone up and up and up within this industry and I am incredibly excited to see uh, her in Wicked and what she does next. Moving on to the two friends, so her workmates, you've got Becky and Dawn. Becky was played by, I can't even get my words out today, Sandra Marvin and Dawn was played by Evelyn Hoskins. Now I was a massive fan of When He Sees Me, the song, uh, which is Dawn's song in the show. And I just thought Evelyn did such a <laughs> an incredibly funny job with it. She was just so natural, but everything she did was so well-timed and comical. And I just think she suited that role incredibly well. Her love interest at the, at the start, and who then becomes her husband is uh, George Crawford who played Ogie. Amazing energy. I think anyone who takes on the role of Ogie has to have energy in abundance and George definitely had that. Quickly going back to Sandra Marvin who played Becky. She's got the most most amazing stage presence and a very soulful voice. When she sang I Didn't Plan It I got shivers. I was like wow to have that much power behind those vocals and that performance. It was just amazing to listen to. And she, again, very, very funny, very, very quick-witted. Really, really enjoyed her performance. I think the three girls together in those main roles were just very, very well cast. And I think this is something that I've realized across the board where Waitress the Musical is concerned. It's always been very, very well cast. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, it it's just amazing. I think this particular cast of people, 
excellent if you can go and check them out the show is touring until next year in august so august 2022 go check it out what's more i absolutely adore this show for the following reasons first of all it's a female-led creative team which speaks for itself i think that is a, a massive achievement because the show is beautiful in every way the music and the lyrics as i mentioned before are written by sarah borealis who is well she's just an incredible musician and songwriter she really is i feel like every song within this musical has its own little life its own purpose and therefore nothing is lost within the musical you know i've seen shows in the past where there's always been a favourite song and then there's been a least favourite song. Whereas with this show, every single sort of song, every number is memorable. And I think that's quite rare and quite amazing. Not only that, but the story was adapted from the book written by Jesse Nelson. Obviously there was a film um, quite a few years ago. I believe it was... 2007 that the film was released i'd like to see the film actually i never knew that there was a film so yeah i'll definitely be watching that after sort of seeing the musical and loving it so much i feel like i will enjoy the film but i think more than anything this musical you know yes the movement and the choreography is beautiful it's a female-led team music is gorgeous but it speaks about domestic abuse in such a way that you can imagine what Jenna especially is going through uh, within her life and you feel so much for her. I think that, you know, credit where credit is due, that is due to how well written the show is. I think the fact that a mainstream musical, <clears throat> excuse me, like Waitress can comment so openly about such a big issue I think that's fantastic. I think it opens up a dialogue where it needs to be opened up. Um, open it up, let in the day in. Oh, I am just the biggest, biggest fan of this show. If any of the cast watched this video, I applaud you. I think it was an amazing, amazing performance and I cannot wait to see it again in future because I'll definitely be booking again. It's my favourite. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Anyway, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Comment down below if you have seen Waitress and let me know your thoughts. I'd love to have a chat with you about it. And finally, subscribe to my channel for more theatre reviews. I am sure I'll be making loads of these in 2022. Probably another Waitress one, I'm not gonna lie. Also, if you fancy it, I did do a cover of What Baking Can Do quite a while back in lockdown. It is one of my favourite songs from the show and I would love if you could go and watch it and um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop chit chatting now because it's snowing outside and I want to go and see the snow. Love you loads guys. Have a great day. Bye.